Man, ladies and gentlemen, I am so irritated, dog. I just did this video, literally, like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> then I go and check it and the whole screen is black because my OBS studio decided not to work. Man, whatever, we're doing it again. And I'm kind of more irritated because I started day drinking a bit earlier and now I'm a bit deeper into my day drinking than I'd like to be for recording. <laughs> but anyways, we're back with some more Daryl Brooks, y'all. This shit's crazy. We're going through all the victims and witnesses right now. It's a beefy section of the Daryl Brooks trial. So I was asking in my other recording of this video if you guys wanted to go through that because I got pretty much positive feedback across the board that you guys wanted to have that continue going. So what I'm going to do... What, I'm go what I figured out is I'm going to drop like a dedicated two videos per week on the Daryl Brooks situation just to get us through it since there's such an amount of witnesses and then we'll explore and find new topics as we go throughout the rest of the week. So we have a nice little balance of Daryl Brooks and, you know, and other things on the channel as well. And that's a that's a plug to my other video I posted today. Make sure all you Daryl Brooks fans, make sure you guys go check out the video I posted today. It's the whole Burning Man situation. Come up and have a seat. Now keep in mind, this is a witness, not a victim. This is when he pulled up in people's yards with his broke-ass piece of shit car that he just rammed through a parade with. This is kind of the aftermath of what happens afterwards. Oh, and Izzy's leaving. Wow. The first thing I will ask you to do is to state your first and last names for the record and then spell each. Okay. Deanna Aldrich. D-E-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Last name is A-L-D-R-I-C-H. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Your witness. Miss Aldrich. Good afternoon, Miss Aldrich. Uh, Direct your attention. Well, first of all, let me back up a little bit. Uh, what do you currently do for a living? I'm retired. That's always pretty good. Uh, <laughs> He's actually trying to make jokes with this lady. Direct your attention to the evening of November 21 of 2021. Do you recall that evening pretty, pretty good? Yes. Uh, where were you staying at the time? I live on Maple Avenue. And during that evening, uh, did you hear anything unusual? I did. And do you recall what that was? I heard a large thumping noise in my neighbor's yard. And when I came out to my porch, I saw a red SUV. And see, you need people like this. You need that nosy ass neighbor for sure. See, I like the nosy neighbor. I need one little nosy neighbor in my life so that when shit goes bad, there's somebody to witness that shit. That's why you need your cameras. You need the neighbor. You need to be locked in because shit like this is where, you know, you catch that guy who, who broke into your house or in this case, obviously, who ran through a parade, you know? Um, back up a little bit to the dumping noise. Um. Can you describe that thumping noise? Would it just be a thumping? Did it sound like a, a crash or, or anything of that nature? Um, I believe it was like the engine dropping kind of noise. Okay. Hmm. And you stated you looked out your patio and saw a red SUV? I did. Uh, do you recall how that SUV looked at that time? It was smashed to smithereens. <laughs> Yeah, and he's laughing about that. You hear that? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of smashed up, huh? wasn't it? Fucking dumbass. Yeah, no. Snickering at it being smashed to smithereens. I wonder why it was smashed to smithereens. You know what I mean? But I already know where he's going with this, but we're going to continue on. But first thing she said already is where what? She couldn't really see too well. She didn't have her glasses. Do you recall if the, the red SUV was still running at the time that you observed it? Yes. 
And at some point, did it cut off? Yes. And what did you see from that point? Um, before I seen it shut off, I seen it go forward in the driveway and then back up like three feet. And then someone got out of the car and ran around the bushes to the front of my building. Uh, and who's the someone that you uh, are referring to? At that time, I didn't have my glasses on, so I could not see clearly. See, okay, so I just wanted to get to that point, right? So he's saying like, oh, he's doing all of this to say like, oh, she's not a credible witness. You know, X her out. You can't, you know, she's not credible enough. She couldn't see. She saw a smidgen of a red truck and a figure of a person come out, right? But at the same time, she's giving details that's going to help the prosecution pin him to the exact area of his route of escape. Like, at the same time, he's jabbing himself, trying to say she can't see well. At the same time he's doing this, like I said, his pettiness outweighs his self-preservation. At the same time he's doing that, he's hurting his own case. But he can't even see that. He thinks this is all the right moves. He thinks this is what he needs to do. He's going to discredit everybody and walk away free or some crazy shit. Like, what? <laughs> Uh, what do you recall? As uh, far description as what? wise, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dark hair, um, possibly white or purple or whatever color shirt, and dark pants. Uh, do you recall a height? Um, I think he was probably anywhere between five, six, and six foot. I really couldn't tell because of the angle. So uh, your, I'm assuming then your patio is kind of on a, a upward base type of angle that you would have kind of been looking. I was sort of no shit, Sherlock. She just said that. Wow. You know, lawyer tactics, bro. He really feels like he's out here. Look at his face. He really feels like he's out here. And I just want to point this out. Look how small this man is, guys. Like, honestly, look at the little shirt all tucked in and his little pants and his little... He is a small ass person, bro. And I feel like that's part of why he's so angry. Like, my boy is tiny. Like, look at him. He's got the whole beard and everything to try to cover things up, make him look like a man. He is, he looks like a kid in a man's body. He's tiny with the little tucked in t shirt, with the little tucked in shirt. He looks like he's going to church, bro, <laughs> with the little tie that goes past his pants. Like, yo, this shit is comedy. They, should, they need to give him the little junior ties. You know the little small ones? They need to give him the junior size. That shit would have fit him nice. Now, I'm not even lying. The little junior shit, that shit would have looked nice on him. Not even going to lie with you, bro. Down. Down, yes. Okay. Tiny ass motherfucker. And the individual you stated ran in what direction at the time that you were observing? My porch is here, and he ran from the driveway here around to the front of my building. Uh, did you see where the individual went from that point, or, or could you not see because of where you were positioned on the patio? He stopped to, if you were looking at the building, he stopped to the right of the building front. And uh, the, the, the building front, is, is that a street? Yes. Not all the way to the street, though. Okay. He was in the front yard on the grass. She's giving... He's like, I don't know why he's doing this, but he's really hurting himself in this. Like, literally hurting himself. Now they know the street. Prosecution knows the street that he may have fled from. Like, you know? And you know prosecution has this whole diagram and map. Parade route, his exit route. They have all that beautiful stuff right there. That'll just be... They'll go to the locker room and be like, hey, this and that lines up more with this and that and it'll be even more solid evidence like i'm telling you he's hurting himself and i keep saying from the last video and i'm gonna say it more his his pettiness and his ego outweighs his self-preservation if he had more self-preservation than ego he would have had a lawyer speaking for him and he would have been in the corner crying with a swollen face looking really sad that would have been his best option but instead he did this <laughs> Did you at any time observe this individual jump over the hood? Um, I was running in and out of my house, so I did not 
see because I was trying to find my glasses as I was running in and out. So is it fair to say you were trying to locate your glasses so you could get a better look at what, at what you were observing? Yes. Okay. Do you recall if the, uh, the SUV had any tenant windows? I do not recall. I love when he bends over and reads. That's exactly how they're going to have him in prison. Hands behind your back, bent the hell over. There's going to be the cavity search, and then it's going to be other inmates. I swear to you. That shit is hilarious. That, that posture he has is funny as hell to me. Because it's ironic. I feel like, you know, he now knows what that means in prison. You don't do that, but... Uh, do you recall what time of the evening you heard the the loud thumping and then observe the SUV? Um, I do not recall. And uh, before that evening, had you ever uh, noticed that SUV before that evening? No. Did you speak with any of your neighbors to inquire who the SUV may have belonged to? Um, no, I had, there was people coming outside from the building that the driveway was, and they were going to walk up to the vehicle, but they did not because I yelled to them and said, don't touch it. Good woman. So that kind of, would be fair to say that that kind of startled them and stopped them in their tracks? Yeah. Do you recall how many people there were? Maybe 10. And at some point, did uh, law enforcement uh, come to your uh, to your home and interview you about what you observed that evening? Yes. And do you know if they... Well, I'm, I'm assuming they took a report. Would that be fair to say? They came up to my apartment and asked me some questions. All right, that shirt. This is the same day that he goes off on Miss Doro, on Judge Doro. Sorry, he. I think this is the same day he builds the the file for it with his boxes, and he's just ripping at her, being disrespectful. All of a sudden, he's all cordial and bright eyes and hopeful for the truth and 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 you know what actually happened. Let's get down to the bottom. This is because the jury's present. I keep not. I, I I never really realized that this switch up is because he's in front of the jury. He's not in front of the jury. He's in front of the jury. He's not. Sometimes he slips up in front of the jury, but majority of the time when he's being all cordial and oh, I'm sorry about that, Your Honor. Oh yes, yeah, so if it pleases the court, Your Honor. If it pleases the court, all these cordial moments is in front of the jury. I never understood that. So every time we have footage of him acting a fool is typically not in front of the jury which is why i also understand why she's more down to take that type of disrespect because it's like she's not being talked down to in front of the jury which are the only people that actually matter at that moment i think the aftermath of everybody seeing the video of him talking to her like that is is what really makes me feel <clears throat> is what really makes me feel a type of way about it but it's just a interesting to note. Right now, the jury is present, obviously, and he is on his best behavior, looking, searching for the truth. <laughs> Do you recall if they were writing it down or uh, uh, recording it? Small writing man. It down. It's a small man. She seems nervous. Look, her hands are shaking. She didn't even seem nervous to me all up until this point. But now all of a sudden she's acting nervous. I don't know what that I don't know what that's all about. But maybe she wasn't. It's just kind of showing. But her hands were kind of shaking. She's fidgeting now. She seems a little nervous. If you recall, did you 
did you ever learn what the loud noises were were that you heard before seeing the uh, SUV? No. And the street that you observed the individual running toward, do you recall which, what street that would have been uh, based on the direction? Um, Arlington Avenue. <laughs> I bet he didn't expect he didn't expect her to say that. Like this is what I'm saying. He keeps not. It's like he's jabbing himself in his guts. Like he keeps running into a wall and acting like like he's helping himself. Like he's literally deflating everything that he's saying. Now prosecution has something has a direction that he ran to. Like everything he's saying is not helping him. It's like going against him at the same time. I don't get it. Would be right directly in front of that building. You didn't uh, see the individual run towards Maple Street? He ran towards Maple Street and came around the bushes directly to the right of my patio being up. But that general direction would have been, uh, which street did you say? Arlington. 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 I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. You know, I apologize. My my apologies. You know, in front of the jury. Yes, I'm a good man. Yeah, see, he's he's all in that shit. It ain't gonna work, buddy. Were you aware that uh, there was a parade going on that evening? Yes. Did you attend? No. After you. Uh, spoke with the law enforcement officers that evening did any more law enforcement officers come back and, and interview it, interview you at any time after that evening they did not um interview me that evening they came early the next day on the 22nd oh i'm, I'm sorry after the uh the 22nd did any uh, any other law enforcement come back out to interview no yeah, see, now, my, ladies and gentlemen, he has run out of questions. Now he's just going to ask these generic bullshit questions. But, you know, in the story is that he kind of told on himself. He asked the witness all these questions. She gave the street that he went to. She gave what happened with the truck, how it looked, battered to pieces. All this information that prosecution is going to use against them. But all he thinks is that he's helping himself because... He thinks he's helping himself because that one point, oh, she didn't see who the person was. It could have been anybody. Do you think the truck was tinted with his small ass? I swear, all these things he thinks is helping him is going against him like crazy. And it's a beauty. It's a beautiful thing to watch. It's a beautiful thing to watch. And I keep wondering, why is he asking these detrimental questions? Get a lawyer. Like, <laughs> oh. And one more thing, you guys shouted out the last video, the guy, the guy who's just like sitting there next to, um, I think attorney Opper is her name, her personal bodyguard or PI private investigator slash bodyguard. I didn't know she was rolling like that. So you mean to tell me you want to go against prosecutors that have personal security, personal details that follow them around, even into the courtroom. You want to go toe to toe with that person. You know, I mean, the guy was delusional from the start, but I think stupid and delusional really clashed together on this one and created a baby called Daryl Brooks. This shit is wild. All right, and that was pretty much it. We're going to go through all these witnesses piece by piece. I think if they're shorter like this one today, we're going to start to compile them together. But I'd already dropped the other video, so I am I am beat. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to get you in the next one. Make sure y'all stay inside. Stay safe. I love you guys, man. We're almost, we're at 9.6, man. We're almost there. Get me the 10K. This shit is, man, we're going up. I'll tell you that much. But anyways, y'all, love you guys. See you in the next one. I'm out.